YouTube Need a Podcast, episode 144. And we're talking about Madden. Do you like it? Do you love it? What needs to be fixed? All that good, fancy stuff. You know, because that's our responsibility, right, boys? So let's talk about it. Let's get to it. Before I even open the potty pod and YouTube and Twitch, you guys, right now, I do this podcast live every Tuesday. You guys can check it out every Tuesday night so you guys can contribute. My girl is from Germany, and she doesn't say contribute. She says contribute. And it, it, it really, I honestly, it, it grinds in my gears when she says contribute. But if you guys want to want to um, tune in and contribute on Tuesdays, make sure you tune in on Tuesdays. We can talk about, yeah, it's, I'm just, the worst part is contribute. And then she says, she says, well, it's contributions. Why isn't it contribute? Because I'm like, come on, you got to figure it out. That's why I tell her all the time. But anyway, let's get it, boys. This the needed podcast. She does say it. it's contribute. English does blow. English is pretty pretty terrible. I should report her. It's pretty terrible. But what's up, boys? What's our one to ten? Give me a one to ten on Madden twenty two. Give me a one to ten. So I need a one to ten. If ten is the greatest game ever, Final Fantasy seven. Or or zero is Madden twenty. What are you? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Let's see these numbers. So I see a two. I see a lot of sixes and sevens. Okay, eight five from Juicy to Man. Corey with a nine ski. Okay, I see some eights. I see some. I see a lot of six fives. Nothing really that low. My man, I'm too great right here. 15 months. Let's go. Daddy gave out 10 gifted too. That dude's a legend. That dude, that dude's a machine. A machine. This is a 3.5. A zone fit. Now we'll talk about zones. We'll talk about everything. It's a one. I don't have it as a one. <clears throat> I mean, this is how Daddy is a machine. He's a legend. This is kind of where you got to start, right, boys? No. This is where you got to kind of start. This is where we kind of got to start, right? Is that... All right, how about this? Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. Give me one positive about Madden 22. Let's do that. Give me one sentence, one positive. If you could say one thing that's positive, don't be funny. Because if you're funny, you're getting timed out for the rest of it. No, dead ass. Don't be funny. Don't try to be the, uh, 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 it's not Madden 20. Like, don't be that person. For real, because I, I, none of you guys are funny. There's a reason we're not listening to your podcast. You're not fucking funny, okay? Don't try to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Give me something positive for real. The content. What does that mean? Run game is an OP. Authentic. That's where I was going to go. I mean, this is a, a pass heavy Madden. That's for me. That's got to be on a huge, huge positive checklist. I will tell you right now. I, and I told you this earlier. I don't give a shit about the cards. I don't care about the content. If I had cardboard goddamn cards to play with, I'd play with those. I don't give a shit. Team of the week is awful. It's terrible. Is it going to stop me from playing the game? No. I'll be honest. Half the cards, like most of the cards they put out are kind of trash. Two man rush is dead. Two man rush is extra dead. Agreed. Our zones ass. Our zones ass, boys.
I've almost gotten used to the play called menu all the way. As Rius, as Rius with three months, my man, Young Mikel in the building with eight months. Lurk City in here with a tier one. Old Tech with five gifted. Let's go, boys. As we stay afloat above the 5,000 sub mark. Do I like the game? I I would say yeah. I mean, no. I I I I would probably say I like the game. I will tell you, I have never gotten more practice at running the clock out and scoring at the end of the game, going for two or something like that. I have never gotten more practice at that. You know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but as I I I I, I put a YouTube video out every single day. Dirty Bird, I agree with that. If I'm in cover three and I have a hook curl, I don't want him running around all over the place. I don't want that to happen. I want him to stay in his damn spot. But part of that, if you put your zone drops on, even though my thought was if I have one zone drop, match wouldn't work. But if I, I got a zone drop all three, it's like crazy. Clock management is a huge part of this game. Um, it is. <sighs> I don't know, man. First of all, I don't think there's been this significant a difference between all Madden and all pro. I, I probably in the last couple of years, really. Um, and you got to see like now we can't be naive here. All right. 99% of the people are playing weekend league and they're playing mud head to head and they're playing all pro. We can't be naive. We can't, right? We can't. So part of me is is almost like you got to say fuck all Madden. Like you kind of have to. Cuz every tunage and every update is going to every every update and every tunage is going to affect both modes. So if you tune the game for all pro to make defense better, then when you go on all Madden, that shit's going to be cracked. It's going to be stupid. You know what I'm saying? So it's like where You know what I'm saying? I think every mode should be all Madden. Of course, I don't know how you have have those situations. I don't know why you would wouldn't have it on the hardest mode, you know, uh, or at least the option to play one or the other. Now, for me, uh, it, like I said, I've told you this a million times that the game is played on all pro because it makes the cards matter more, it makes the thresholds more important. It makes you have to buy that new card. Literally, that's what Rex told us four years ago, whatever it was. That's literally why it's on all pro, 100%. If it's on all Madden, the dudes, the, everybody plays the same. No money spent could be good. If, as long as they're fast enough, you'll be all right. You know? You know, there's a bigger... Which, I mean, is that that worst? Is that, you know... I want Minka Fitzpatrick to be better than Jeremy Chin. Like, for real. Like, I kind of like that Minka is better than Jeremy Chin. That makes sense. You know. So, it's a tough balance. So, if, if, we, do, if we do cry, patch, 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 make the zones better, right? That's gonna that's gonna make all Madden hell in the cell because I would tell you all Madden is pretty good, not pretty good but it's pretty solid, you know. I would be cool without a patch for real. Yeah, changing difficulty is ter it is terrible on MLB. Shoot, MCS is on all Madden. 
One hundred percent. Which is a, which is honestly a change they've made in the last couple of years. When I won, it was on All Pro. Back in the back in the the height of MCS, it was on All Pro. It was never on All Madden. Well, they did that to the third last year. They patched Skimbo's play that he made once he started streaming. He made this cover three bomb popular, and then they patched him about three weeks after it. You know that was that was it. So that's why they patched thirds. I mean, thirds right now, thirds and quarters are they literally just float in the mid. They don't guard deep, and then they don't guard. They get bombed, and then they don't guard the sideline. You know. And that's kind of what makes Bunch so good is that you the deep blues don't stop a corner out, you know? You know? But that's what I'm saying, Jay. Say they make say they make deep blues guard the corner, you're going to get bombed so much easier, right? You already get bombed easy enough. Like, this is what I'll ask you guys. What does any deep third guard do? Really, you know. Patch always does kind of hurt it. I'm kind of cool. I, I don't want to say I'm cool where I'm at. An outside streak. That's about right. That's about it. Yeah, Sarah, that's how I feel. I feel like it should definitely be an option. Why wouldn't it be an option? I don't know. Why shouldn't a pro player have to play the game, Chase? What is that? What how what is wrong with that? I never I, like if you're pro at Valorant or Apex, you play the game 10 hours a day. What's the difference? Quick sells, what are quick sells? Dollar, Allen, relax. Below average, there you go. That's a good point. You should. That's a good point. Shading, shading hasn't worked since Madden 17. Why are the games so close, Florida boy? That's because people really only have three or four possessions a game, you know. And if you, if you can't hold another good player out of the end zone, you score. It's only going. It's going to come down to a couple possessions. If it was long, if five minutes no accelerating, no runoff would be like super tough Madden. Now for me. I love the runoff under two minutes. I do, but it does hurt the rest of the game for real, for real. But at the same time, I want to play weekend league with four minutes with runoff. I do, I do, I do. Shit, weekend league, weekend league rewards are ass. They're ass. Like you, you one hundred percent. If you say you win two seasons, two seasons of uh, my head to head is probably the same as weekend league. Yeah, like exactly, juicy. It's a very, it's a very short game. Very, very short. You make a mistake, you lost against a good player for the most part. Yeah, but Eduardo, if you're winning like that in seasons, then you're not getting top fifty rewards anyway. So what the fuck is the point? In other words, if you're 15, where are my 15 win guys? Where are my teens? I win from from 11 to 18 every year, every weekend. Who, where are you guys at? You guys aren't making shit. Like y'all not making shit playing weekend league. Y'all not making dick, like literal dick. You play 25 games, cause that's how my no money spent is. Like, like for real. Like y'all don't make shit. For real. Marty, exactly. If you're in it for the rewards, you're never going to be happy. Like the people punting in house rules, they'll never be happy. If you're punting in house rules to get an NCAT, 
88 overall, you're never going to be happy. I'll tell you that right now. For real. You're never going to be happy. Oh, they definitely not changing rewards. That shit's cut. That shit. Rewards are cooked, bro. Rewards are cooked. You're not. You're not just. You're not playing weekend league for no rewards, bro. I will win twenty five straight house. Did they get? They, I heard they got rid of punting in house rules. I heard they got rid of it. I will win 25 straight. I guarantee 25 straight house rules wins. Or I give away all my coins. <laughs> I, I do feel like the, the season's rewards are pretty solid. Right? I don't know if y'all agree. I don't know if y'all agree with that. I feel like seasons are pretty solid with the wins. Strategy cards, listen, after you have them, it's easy. They're a W, strategy cards. One, I don't, no, listen, because one... My goddamn, I'm my my defensive ends aren't getting boosted up with my secondary. All right? I don't want a whole defensive speed card, which they're probably going to come out with at some point, right? I don't want a whole offensive speed card, which they'll probably come out with at some point. Yeah. Overall, overall they were an L, but I think they're better than Sprinter. Yeah, I think they're better than the Sprinter. Sprinter cost a lot. Um, obviously, when if you were getting your strategy cards, you're probably like, shit, this is costing me so much. But in the grand scheme, I think it's cheaper than Sprinter for sure. Yeah, well, the random part is what makes them cost so much, right? That's the random part. Yes, yeah, there. If there wasn't speed, the strategy cards would be cool as shit. Yo, let me go to get the ones that give me a little bit of zone, right? Let me go get the ones. Nobody asked. Let me tell you this. Nobody asked for more faster players. Nobody asks for this shit. Nobody says, yo, I want to boot up and have 95 speed Tyree kill on day one. Nobody, nobody. I'm saying, nobody asked for that shit. Yeah, it would be straight. Now it's not strategy. It's just, yo, we'll, we'll make sure these guys got speed. All right, re Carter, re relax with the contracts. Yeah. But like I said, boosting speed is bad for real. Yeah, Regs definitely has those speed differentials. You see Tyreek Hill, and that shit is like, it's almost bad. It's almost like you like it or you love it, Sniper. You feel me? Like, okay, do y'all like one wide receiver being that much faster than everybody else? Or you like Mutt where everybody's kind of the same speed? You know? I feel like maybe Regs gives you more of that, oh, shit, Tyreek Hill's on the field type of, type of mentality on defense that you don't get from Mutt. You know, like you're afraid of that guy, you know, or like I, I don't want Christian McCaffrey to get touched the football, man. And if you're on offense, let me force feed Christian McCaffrey because he's my best player and he's that much better than everybody else, you know. Yes, the superstars are definitely superstars on regs. I think theme teams are cool. The only reason I think theme teams are cool, Tyler, is because it's kind of fun making a theme team. You know, it's kind of, I like that part of it, really. And I think without a theme team, like the team building part of Mutt, because salary cap is gone, right? Which is, salary cap, dude, salary cap was like the best idea ever. It really was. I don't know why, like, we have lost that mode. You know, I... 
I do like I do like Mutt. You know, I do. I do think salary cap is a uh, is a mold. It, it it was a fun mold. It was fun making your teams. I will tell you, once the uh, once the power up cards came, it got way more tedious building a team. Oh my god! Because you could have twenty one cap Kilo Mac or twenty four Kilo Mac or twenty seven Kilo Mac, or you could have sixteen Kilo Mac. Like, there's so many different options to make a team. No, I think Mutt as the competitive mode is is better. But I think the team building for salary cap was fun as fuck for real. Well, I feel like this the the punter at quarterback was a combination of two things. It was a combination of salary cap, right? But then the game. You know, you made a you made a shorter game, you made a 40 second play clock, you made runoff, you made the run, so all those things kind of snowballed into making the run really good. Then you made the run really good. Then you put abilities in the game. So now you have abilities that you can save cap on and if I don't have a quarterback, I can put them on defense. So now, between a short game, the run being good, and you're able to put all these abilities on your defense and make your defense OP, that was a perfect storm for the punter and quarterback type of thing. Yes, K-Mac, I believe they definitely fixed. They definitely made the AP system now is a lot better. When you could only have two, three people with abilities... It was rough. Just imagine, say you play a runner. You right now you could have like five inside stuff, so you could have five shedders or something. You know, the AP system definitely improved. You know, I I don't understand why I think I think a theme team makes certain cards usable. It makes certain teams usable. It brings the fandom of NFL into the game. I think it's the biggest positive they've had in Mutt is a theme team, for real. I think there's nothing negative about that. You know, it's it's probably one of the best features that they have. One million percent. Between the old players, uh, the current players, being able to mix them, like, it brings people's fandom. Because at the end of the day, you play the game because you're a football fan. So I think they're super, super positive, you know. Should the, yes, I think a positive theme team's getting speed. I don't, you know, I don't mind it. This is my point. There's nothing really stopping you from having a theme team. A theme team isn't really hard to get. It's not like behind a paywall or a competitive wall. It's not that hard to get a theme team, for real, for real. So for me, uh, for me, I really that's what I'm saying. And on top of that, yes, MLB should have theme teams. NBA should have every every. I get mad when I play these other, you know, card modes, these other ultimate team modes, and they don't have all the good things from other teams, other other games. Like what? I would steal everything, for real, for real. Yeah, you can just have silvers, golds. It's easy to make a theme team now. No, but the, see, Swank, this is my point. There's other good things in other modes than th that Mutt doesn't steal. Like, the fact I look at my team and I can't move a card just throughout different positions on my team is, like, excruciating. Any tips from starting Mutt from scratch? ScoMo streams at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, Splitter. You can check him out. He will answer all those detailed questions. Me, I'm more of a meat and potato type of guy. You seem like a parsley type. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a parsley type of player. The best ultimate team is definitely Mutt. Diamond Dynasty is right there. Diamond Dynasty is really good, too. They're, they're like... This is how I feel. If someone was smart enough to just combine the positives of Diamond Dynasty and the positives of Mutt and make like this this 
this Thanos, you know, gauntlet, Infinity Stone gauntlet, like, it would be the best game. But I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that's just that is the one thing that sucks about baseball is that baseball once you get Chipper Jones and like Mike Trout and they, I mean you only have so many positions to get new cards at for real. You know that's the boring part of baseball, really. But that that mutt has because they're like like he said it's fifty five, damn near sixty players to work with for real for real. BRs. Imagine a BR on Madden. That would be so cool, dude. Imagine a BR, a BR in Madden. That would be like draft champs with a purpose. Would be cool. That's all you need. Draft champs with a purpose. No, but BR is just one. BR has way more strategy and drafting. You know, and just the, the format of winning the games is what makes it good. You know, the format of winning the games is pretty much the biggest. The format is what makes it. Even if they had draft champions now and say you had to win 20 games. Say you had to win 20. All right, here's the chat. 20 games straight of draft champions you have to win and you get the limited for the week. Would y'all play that? For real. You got to win 20 games straight. And say you get tiers. Okay, five, you get a gold pack. You win 10, you get an elite pack. 15, you get 88 plus. But 20, you get that limited for like 900K. For real. But you got to win 20 plus, 20 straight games. I don't know why I wouldn't have it. That's what I mean about stealing ideas from other, like, other, like, how do we not have that? You know? Yeah, then you get the Aaron Jones, you can sell them, boom, there it is. My man Nick with 10 months. Let's go. But it had to be challenging, though. BR games only are three innings. Okay, they're a little bit faster. It would it would decrease the card value for sure, but how many people are really going 20 and 0? So I don't think it would be that many cards. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's a good idea, really. But how is, but how is it free? How is, uh, how is twenty and zero in Madden free? That's like fucking ridiculous. How long does it take y'all to play weekend league? Shit, it takes me like goddamn twenty hours for twenty five games. That's not free. If you think going twenty and zero is free, you're the problem. Shit. Like, <laughs> gee, his ass, bro. Hell yeah, why did that? Up, oh, not winning this one. Up, oh, this guy scored, not winning that one. Encourage what DC, what disconnection? Do y'all really think fucking dudes are like, let me jiggle the cord and boot this guy offline? Do y'all think people do that shit? Because I have, I give the human, I give the human, the people's human, like, soul the benefit of the doubt that they're not that crabby. They're not that crabby, dude. Like, there's no way, dude. I am naive, 
But I'm good being naive because I see the good and good. Maybe because I'm older. Because I can't lie. When I was when I was playing ranked leaderboards in Madden 18, bro, I would try to boot you the fuck off if I was losing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe now that I'm older, I'm 34. I'm not. I never think people would do that shit. Yeah. I feel like when you get older, like, I don't know. You ain't want to take no L's. Fuck that. Yeah, when I was 17, it was cool. You know, fuck this guy, right? Plus, you couldn't get caught. Bro, get, yo, the world done changed 15 years. Like, it has old, you get caught for everything now. Everybody got 4K everywhere. It's everywhere. You get caught doing everything. You wasn't getting caught back in Madden Man 07 or Madden 08. You were not getting caught. You could boot up. Where was that guy going? He wasn't going to Twitter. What fucking forum was he going to? His, he had to sit his dumb ass salty in the living room without his W. Yeah. It's a way different world now. How would you? Like, dude. The police be out on the Twitter timeline. This guy booted me. Oh, my God. Matt Marku, can you ban him for life? Every day I wake up to that shit. And I'll be honest, the people that snitch about getting booted offline are worse than the people that booted them offline. You could be one or the other. You could be the booter or you could be the snitch. Which one are you picking? For real. Oh, my God. Ban him. Ban him. Look, this is his gamer tag. He did it at 4 p.m. at night. He normally plays. Come on, dude. Is it that serious? Like, bro, it's a game. Now, for the competitive shit, yeah, that's foul. Like, that franchise shit was foul. Like, that was foul, boys, right? That was foul. But then, but then maybe weekend league, weekend league and shit is really competitive for some of y'all. So, who am I to say what's competitive, right? Maybe some of y'all take weekend league head to head, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro, the people that, like, tag that shit on Twitter, like, I feel like you're the biggest fucking loser ever. For real. I really do. I really do. <laughs> My man Mir with three months, man. Ed, I'd be first of all, I'd be locked in. You don't understand. That's why I just said sometimes it means a lot for y'all, so y'all can't be getting booted. But snitching to Marku, what do you think Marku is supposed to do? Go go to his go to his office and boot this guy? What do you think Marku has? Some some crazy ass setup where he can boot people off Xbox? Who the fuck do you think he is? Houdini? Oh, I'll boot this guy for you. Oh, no big deal. Jonathan forty five. Let me go boot this guy off for you. No, thanks for bringing it to my attention. He's no longer allowed to play Madden. Thank you, Jonathan45. Like, what? Yo. <laughs> like, what? What are they supposed to do against Franchise GG? He wasn't allowed to play last year. What, is he supposed to be banned for life because he dashboarded? Is he supposed to be banned for fucking life? Franchise GG? An irrelevant fucking MCS player is supposed to be banned for life? Who gives a shit? What the fuck? I don't even know if he was allowed to play or not because he didn't fucking do anything. He should be booted, of course. What do you want me to tell you? Do I? Is it my fucking tournament? If someone was booing on Bot Wars, I would ban him. Yes. I'm not the face of shit. Do I think he's the only one? I don't think relevant Madden players are booting people offline. I don't. I really don't. Joke may be possible. Possible. But since I can't lie, Joke, he got a puppy dog. He's got a puppy dog. He's got this new woman. Joke is a different person like the last year. I swear to God. I swear to God he's a different person. Jaybird, yeah, yeah. But here we go what I'm saying. 
is Jay Bird a relevant man player? Franchise GG, Jay Bird. Let's let like let's really who gives honestly, I don't give a shit what these little hooligans do. I don't care. For real, I really don't. But at the same time, they should be banned 100%. At least for that year. Like, franchise should have been banned, for real. But we talked about this last year. Like, like we talked about it in extensive discussion. But he should definitely, uh, you know what I'm saying? And for the record, I don't think Jay Bird would boo anybody. My man Jay Patrick Partridge has a good heart, dude. He wouldn't boot people. Shikobi? Oh my god. Do you know how many computers Shikobi has in his in his gaming setup? Shikobi has four computers. I swear to I shit you not. He's got four. He had to hang two from the wall from the ceiling. Two of them are hanging from the ceiling. He's got three keyboards. How many keyboards do you guys have? Shikobi has three. I didn't know it was possible. What the fuck are you need with three keyboards? And his shit goes all the way around. Like, bro, he got like, you know how, like, I have an L desk. People have an L desk. Shikobi shit, like, he got a, his, he be back here with it. He's booting your ass offline. Don't let Shikobi boot you offline, bro. I'm telling you. He'll boot your mother off her goddamn website she's shopping on. I'm telling you. Oh, he would boot you tier list. Shikobi, top of the list. Deliverance. God damn it, this fucking guy. You know what? You're an irrelevant MCS player. You'll never be shit, you stupid fucking vet. And, sh and Deliverance talks to, like, kids like this. Like, I'm talking, like... Yo, Deliverance is a mean fucker, bro. Is he not mean as shit? Bro, like, he's mean. Bro, he's a mean fuck. Holy shit. Good guy. I, You know what? He's always been a, a joy to be around. But I don't know. He, yo, he gets a mean streak. Like, holy shit, dude. Reel it in. No, Deliverance had... he. Oh, he had a good-looking girl. He had a nice girlfriend. He, and she would support him. She would wear his jerseys and, like, cheer and shit. It would drive me crazy. If you ever cheer for Owl, yeah, you got to fucking go. Go to the spa or some shit. You can't be in my Madden tournament. But she was supportive. I don't know what happened. She had the deliverance. I said, damn, you got the jersey? No, but he began mad at people, bro. He began mad like, bro, I don't know how he gets so mad. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, he gets mad as shit. And he gets mad at random, like, random Madden players. Like, he's a send a mess. He's a send mess. Yo, his messages, how much are we paying to check out his Xbox messages? Holy shit. I, I got 50 to it right now, boys. I have $50 to see Deliverance's Xbox messages. You stupid shit. I'm an MCS pro. You're fucking nobody on Weekend League. Uh, my man dribble dub with five months. Little man, little man is on the list. All right, new list. Whose Xbox messages do we want to read? Whose Xbox messages do we want to read? <laughs> Deliverance, oh, Deliverance be going at everybody, bro. Like he just full sends it, kids, bro. Like, he full sends it. Fucking kids just trying to have fun. Drips, what's up, man? Oh, my God. Yo, Deliverance is a passionate fuck, bro. Vols? I don't think... Vols... I feel like when you're streaming, you can't really talk shit. I was never, like, in the messages. Because, listen... I was never an in the message type of guy. Because you never get any joy out of in the message. 
no matter what you say, you don't get any joy out of it. Because one, you can't see the reaction. You can't talk to them. It's just like a text message that one, when you're angry, you can't even type it fast enough. It's like, I don't know why people resort to it. It only makes you more mad. It only makes you more mad. It's 100% not worth the effort. Because you're going to lose the battle. The stats don't lie. <laughs> My man's shots in here with three months. Let's go, man. Bro, Ragusa. Ragusa is nasty. I'm afraid for Ragusa. I feel like he's not going to make it on his Twitch through this Twitch network. First of all, I feel like I don't. You know why I love Ragusa and love watching him? He makes me feel like I'll never get banned. I'll be here forever. I'm like, bro, I'm doing okay. I'm kind of, I'm my, my, listen, I'm kind of acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Linda. Oh, man. My man, Deliverance. That's a good guy, bro. That's a good guy. The one thing I always took... took um, the one thing I always took heed in in um, Madden was that when I was pissed off, I could always just play another game for free, right? Ah, uh, Izzy, my bad. I'm sorry about that, buddy. I'm glad you're here. You could always just search again and get into another game. And I feel like your next game is just it's the next game, for real, for real. If, you sit, if you're pissed, the worst thing you could do is, like, sit in that piss, right? <laughs> like, sending somebody a message is literally sitting in the piss of the last game you played. For me, I just want to, like, I want to clean off and go to the next game. Body bags. What's up, man? That's how I always felt about Madden. In fact, when I'm streaming, if I'm winning, that, that shit kind of gets boring. Not boring, but it's like I don't have the same gumption to play again, right? But when I lose, it's like I search instantly. Instantly. We just next game. Because I'm pissed. And instead of instead of messaging somebody, I just search for the next game. I really wasn't a message person. I got to put the little shitheads in their place. How do I do that, Panic? On the Xbox message? I'll be honest. I'm going to lose the Xbox message battle. I'm starting a TikTok battle. I'm, start, I'm, yo, I'm going right at all the little kids on TikTok now. Like, that's exactly how weekend league is. It's like I want to sit and just play shitters and, and then win every game and look great. And then yeah. The worst part is the worst feeling in Madden is when you lose and then you have to play a shitter. That is the worst feeling in Madden. It really is. It's like it's kind of like you're at the bar, you're talking to a bad bitch all night. Things are going good. Well, you guys got a couple drinks in. And then here comes Suave Steve. Walk over, bags her, and takes her away. She's gone for the night. And then you look down the bar. There's Ann. Ann's down the bar. Not want to tell you what Ann looks like, but if you know, you know. And that's all you got. Right? And the process of Ann is like searching for the game. But the realization you're with Ann is like when you boot up, when you're finished, when, you know what I'm saying? When you're in and out, and then you like, that that clarity after Ann is kind of playing a shitter in Madden. You're sitting there, and your clarity is full, right? So you're playing Ann in Madden, and your clarity is like, I just fucking lost. 
to Scuba Steve or what I call him Suave Steve, right? You just you just lost. You know what I'm saying? And you're sitting there, and here's fucking Ann running five tight ends. Ann doesn't know what the hell she's doing, but she's in the fucking game. She t- she's going crazy. She's calling coach suggestions. She's in it. She might cook breakfast. You know what I'm saying? And you're sitting there with this clarity of, holy shit, I just fucking lost. And here goes the worst part. Here goes the chat. Here goes the assholes in the chat. Come on, let's 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 get off that snide, man. You'll get this one, buddy. Meanwhile, I know I'm fucking in right now. I could have got this. I could have beat this. Like, what? Like, you just sent me by saying that shit. What they say? Yo, you'll get this one, man. Let's go. Turn it around. Turn it around, dude. Turn it around. Lock in on Ann. Come on, man. The bounce back game. Holy shit. I be- Bro, shit is the worst. I will tell you I always had the glitch, though. Here's the glitch. This is what you need. I know I'm old, right? So I have wise things to tell you to get out of situations like this because sometimes you get into and situations and then you realize like shit i want to get out of the and situation and and no matter what you can be a, you can be a sour son of a bitch getting out of the and situation is tough it is you gotta you gotta you know what i'm saying no for real you gotta realize i don't care how cool you are or how like hardcore you, getting out of and situations is tough it is whether it's the morning time the night time you're in too deep Getting out of them situations is tough. This is where you got to make up a job, bro. I didn't make up a job, but I always had the tree work, right? So I always had a picture of a tree falling through a house, bro. And so that was my emergency. It was in the nighttime. The tree was, I had two versions, daytime and nighttime. And the tree was through the house. And I always would get like a fake message and boop, boop. And bring a picture up like, oh, shit, it's a tree through the house. Somebody hurt. I got to go help. Boom. And that always worked. No matter what time it was, it always worked. Exactly. And I'll tell you, if they don't know what you do, tell them you cut trees. You can get in and out really fast. Yeah. Exactly, Hurdle. It was the way to go. I would desync dates 100%, Tommy. Sometimes you got to get go. How are you just prepared? I'm telling you, I've listened. Got to be prepared for everything. It was to the point my boys was like, yo, yo. It was like, my boys was like, yo, send us that picture, yo. Send us that picture. Send us this picture. I'm 34. Yo, so all my boys had the same picture of the tree. <laughs> We all had the same picture. <laughs> oh, that shit is funny. Damn, I mean that would be that would be a bad. If, damn, I seen that picture before. Damn, that's why you gotta keep. That's why you gotta keep an encyclopedia. Your team has to have an encyclopedia. It ha- Listen, your close circle has to have an encyclopedia. It has to. Like, you have to kind of know your circle's whereabouts and, like, what they've been through, for real. Deep, deep down inside, she knows the drill. Eskimo, bro. Sometimes, Petey, sometimes. Oh, I don't have it anymore, Tim. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I live a better lifestyle now. <laughs> yeah, palm trees. <laughs> Ew. One eyed and But that's what it's like when you lose a game of Madden and then you play a shitter. It's the worst. But in all seriousness, I am on I am yeah, yeah, Jay Morg. And and was like, Yeah, let me go. I'll hold a chainsaw. You need me to carry some logs? What type of ands do you think I talk to? Holy shit. Where do you live? Minnesota? Holy fuck. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, manual labor ran. 
Give me the log! <laughs> Silverado. <laughs> Yo, y'all nasty, bro. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> y'all are nasty. <laughs> oh, shit. Silverado. <laughs> Definitely Minnesota, dude. <laughs> Did anyone... That dude was preparing. What happens? What happens if she has to come with you? Yo, that dude was preparing. Oh, man. That's nasty. Y'all nasty. Y'all are nasty human beings. Bring back NFL 2K. Alaska, you ever watch Mountain Men? Yo, them Mountain Men dudes are fucking... Yo, Mountain Men dudes are crazy. I'm like, bro, what? Those Mountain Men dudes, they're different, for real. Mountain Men dudes are... Oh, them dudes are crazy, boy. Those dudes are crazy. People that like 2K are idiots, dude. 28 unban requests. One of them is grit. Is grit here? Tropical. Imagine not being. Imagine not being subbed. Like imagine. Does this fit in here? Oh, it does. There it is. Juice box. Juice box. If we can keep Burrow up, it's going to be a great year. Wentz is still good. Did you lose? I let it see. He asked if I lost. Probably last 28 months. Tim got a little crazy, but that was a, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying? You get banned. King Daniel. L defense. He was in a bad mood. Caught him at the wrong time. Six chat logs. Previously subbed for two months. He's been subbed for two months somehow. King Daniel, we'll let him back. What is this? I mean, uh, is this like, got to be careful. Oh, man, look at Grant Duncan on Tropical. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I don't know how we're feeling. You know, it is 2021. We got to be careful, you know. Yo, this dude is turned up right here. This dude is turned, bro. This dude is turned up. Four three covered three sky. DB cover out. Send D line in, and you do what you want with linebacker. Press DBs every now and then. Okay, he knows something. He knows something right here. This guy knows something. Jay's Cruz, he knows something. He crazy emoji type. 
We're gonna unban we're gonna bring him back though. I like his I like how much energy he brought. I <laughs> yo. I know you was on a five game losing streak, but you had to do me like that. We good. Need it all day. Taquerito. <laughs> Alright, I mean sometimes it happens. King Mar. King Mar. I don't know how he got popped. Why did I pop King Mar, bro? I forgot why I popped him, but I popped him. But I let him back because he made a whole burner and, and subbed on the burner, too. So he's back. Kobe Nation. All right, this is on. This is, you're just banned for shit like that. I'm just cutting stuff out. That's all. We already have easy. We can't have nobody else other than easy. Three down linemen. That's why. Not sure why I got banned. I was making a joke. I do nothing but support W. I even subbed with him with my prime. Okay. I mean, he, he do me the My man, Kyle? Corday banned my man? This was my man. Oh, he's saying crazy shit, though. What? What the hell? This dude got a million chat logs, and now he want to start going crazy? Sub for seven months? Bro, what? My man, King Mar, there he is. Yo, what? What? Yeah. Damn. I don't know, dude. Bro, my man been following since 2018. I don't know. Read it. What did he say? I don't know, boys. I don't know. This is my guy, though. I don't know. He did go crazy. But I'm telling you, Bull, Bull been around. He been around forever. He got over a thousand chat logs, bro. We gotta let my man. I gotta let my man back, bro. That dude been around forever. I got over a thousand chat logs. Like shit. Now, like this dude got 94 chats. He owes 20. Get it. He might owe 10. He might owe 10. Confirmed. Confirmed. I don't even know what he was talking about. He just went crazy. I'm looking to buy the ebook. Eduardo Banzum. What happened here, dude? Elvis Shady? Elusive Shady? Bro, Eddie just banned some dude that won't buy the ebook? My man Mako Eyes, bro. Yo, buy my mutt coins. This Fugle one sucks. Who's a good budget free safety? I have 22k to spend. I'm so Bass Ed Rob, the legend. Poor kid. Poor kid. He'll never be back. He's he's in Skomo's chat right now, waiting from the boot up. This. This dude got a lot of chat logs, too.
<laughs> Yo. It's I you know, it's like What is this one? Is that an ass and the needed look? Gut Fox music playlists are goaded. I gotta unban my man, bro. How did an ass get banned? How do we get banned for an ass? I don't know. Stop talking and get into a game. His first comment ever. Man, I'm, I, I, you know, I got to set a tone. You just can't be that. can't be your first fucking comment. I slang cocks. Okay. I mean, listen. Go get the Mantis Blades. Okay. I mean, he was watching Cyberpunk. Okay. Who do I choose? I mean, he did a big gap right here between, you know, August of 2019, then December. You know, that's a couple months. Then he didn't come back till Madden came back out. I mean, this guy's all over the place. He came back randomly. For, he came back randomly for Cyberpunk. You know, like where do you, like you know what I'm saying? I'll do all your soul if I get a video rubbing jelly between your toes. Like, that was wild crazy. But he was here for Cyberpunk, so I gotta let him back. See, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Nah, this is just unacceptable, bro. I can't I can't make that shit cool, bro. I can't. My man's been following for 20 hours. Did this just happen? What the hell? Mallow? 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 This is a skimbo guy? This is a skimbo viewer? Mike Trap? I, I, I want to say I, I want to say I recognize the name. I want to say I recognize the name. Mallow, talk, talk, explain yourself, Mallow. Why, why? I need an explanation. He seems normal. He seems like a good guy. Skimbo viewers are good guys. I don't know. I don't know why he, Mallow, I need, you know, what, what happened to him. I don't remember. Mallow is officially on Mod Watch, boys. Is there anybody in the chat that that is dollar? Is there anybody on the chat that wants to be a mod? Because Mallow is on thin ice with his mod. I'll be honest, probation. He's on mod probation. Confirmed. Confirmed. Why do we ban this guy? To Uncle Ruckus? Is this Trey's burner? Uncle Ruckus? <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. Yo, I'm playing my man Ruckus. My man Carl. Carl with the two months. I'm modem is close, man. It's close. You need the God Squad. Turn this stupid music off, fam. Dexter's Laboratory kind of gangster, fam. Just watch K Mac lose to a D line user. So shameful. Jesse a sub and got cooked and his chat deleted. What? Damn, Jesse, you needed that bad. Jesse said, bro. Bagged by a fragile ginger. This two man rush will make your two man rush look like bums. You think K Mac and Shakobi look at you like a bye week? <laughs> Why? Yo, this dude is hell. 
Does Bobby V ever win? Seems like dude's the Madden punching bag, fam. <laughs> Yo, who is this guy? Dexter's Laboratory, kind of gangster, fam. Turn this stupid music off, fam. This stream sus as fuck. Bot Wars kind of trash, though. I'm sorry, fam. <laughs> hey, Dottie. Dot I mean, listen. We got to bring my man back. He's a real one. All right, something funny happened here. Something bad happened here, bro. I can, my man Raw Dog came in here a month after my man's last. My man's last. Hold up, Raw Dog came in here a month after my man's last message and banned him. What happened? Did Raw Dog? Does Raw Dog not like Brandon? Do they have beef? Well, I don't think this guy did really anything. I don't know what he did. This was from 2018. Is Brandon even on Twitch anymore? <laughs> Mod probation. Dragon Tiger. Here it is, boys. I gotta wait. This might be the next one. Who's this one? Damn. Oh, he said the R word. That's why I banned this guy. He got hit. he hit me with the R word. I let him back though. He's he's got a badge, but he got chill on the R word. All right, Dragon Tiger, here it is. I don't really like Card Art this year. His match defense is going crazy. Wow, how does his match play so good? Here we go. So you're going by Dub Dot now, nerd? Ha ha. What's up, douchebag? Oh, he no the copy pasted me. Nope, nope. Nope. L. L for Dragon Tiger. L for Dragon Tiger. He might have to wait a week. He might have to wait a week. He might have to wait a week for this one. I'll be honest, this was a this was a letdown. This was a letdown, boys. Yeah. We'll let him back, but we just gotta boom. Whenever he types, we gotta boom. We got he just gotta get booed. You guys had to air him out for that. That that was that was embarrassing. That was not the Dragon Tiger we know. It really wasn't. It really wasn't the Dragon Tiger we know. It wasn't. Dragon Tiger is indeed a troll. He is a troll. No. Imagine going to school, Buck, and Buck, and imagine like having degrees and shit. Like, what losers? Degrees, losers, losers, losers. Mar, I don't even remember why you got banned, but you got banned for a reason. It happened. It happened and you got to realize why did it happen you got to realize that for real for real all right boys but listen ultimately at the end of the day i don't want a patch no patch no patch let's ride out except buggy shit like that stupid pump fake rpo shit and stuff like patch is coming yeah that'll be the end of the year i'm telling you I'm telling you it's gonna get bad boys it's gonna get bad I can't wait. And once soon as NHL drops, whoo, 
Catch me on the ice. Catch me on the ice. I do feel like this, boys. How is this the height of a Madden streamer? How do we get better? What do we have to do to take Madden streams to the next level? Like, what do we have to do? And I'm not talking about, you know, a couple more hundred viewers or some. How do we get to the next level? For real. Like, is this it? Is this it? For real. What? What can I do? Much squads with other streamers. That would be fucking terrible. Hope for a good game. I don't think the game matters. Power wash simulator. As a man that actually used the power washer, I don't think I would enjoy that. Is this the height of men? Like, bro, like, grow bot wars. What more do you want me to do? You want me to water it and put it under the sunlight? We have grown it. The fuck? If I do it every week, it won't be grown. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Real tourneys and real play. I'll be honest. I feel like the land days of Madden are dead. They're done. They're dead. They're dead. Sad. Sad to say, but land Madden is just dead. What is the best X factor for Vince Young? Okay, boys. That's the end of the stream. I will. Uh, the podcast will be back next week. More. Hopefully, you don't wind up on the unbanned request. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it does not ha or hopefully you don't wind up on unbanned quest. If you do, bring a little bit of heat in the, in in the, you know what I'm saying? In your what's it called? Your rebuttal or your excuse or your message, you know what I'm saying? Bring a little more heat. You know what I'm saying? So, I will holler at you on a podcast next week, next Tuesday if you're still watching on YouTube. Put your cash app below. We might bless if you if you made it this far because we're over probably an hour on a podcast.